toxins could be leaking into the environment at a so-called TV graveyard. Now, some people trying to crack down on electronic waste are volunteering to clean it up. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen shows us the problem spot. Someone came out here and tossed these TVs with no regards for how it could negatively affect the environment here. Luckily, they've stopped using mercury-based CFLs and other sort of nasty toxins in those TVs, but there are still small amounts of lead and mercury still in the TVs. Connor Causey calls this area a TV graveyard. It's located under the Jubilee Bridge next to 18th Avenue North. Looks like they were dumped in the woods initially and then people drug them out over time, checking them out, trying to see which ones were working and whatnot. And there's also a possibility it could have been a contractor. Connor wants to warn people about the dangers of dumping electronic waste. He says it's a growing problem in the Nashville area. Part of the reason why I started NERD was that I noticed that there was a deficiency in recycling options available for electronics in Nashville, specifically things like television, especially flat screens. NERD stands for Nashville Electronics Recycling, Refurbishing, and Decommissioning. As part of his job, he tries to fix or properly dispose of TVs. In his free time, he cleans up dumping grounds that look like this. So far, I have pulled about 14 TVs out of there. I didn't have enough time the other day to pull the rest, but I will be back there tomorrow. As Connor focuses on this issue, he hopes Nashvilleians will stop doing it because it can be a potential hazard to the community. There's lots of recyclers who would have been happy to come pick them up for free or even pay you to pick them up. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. If you have TVs or computers that you want to recycle, Metro Nashville has several free drop off locations. Two of them include the Ezel Pike Center as well as the East Center. We'll post that information for you on our website, newschannel5.com.